Welcome back to Goldfish U. Uh, I think this is part two or part three of this wildlife pond build. So that's my re little retaining wall. I've got to have that so we can keep the soil in. Eventually this grass is going to come up to either the first block, top of the first block, down there, or top of the second block. I haven't decided that yet. So this is going to be our build. So all soil that's coming out here will now bank up, bank up to just about an inch below the top here, something like that. So that's spray painted where I need to dig out. So now the soil will just get banked up, as I just said. Uh, that's got to be deep enough so we can plant irises into it and stuff like that into gravel. And that's going to act as like a little filter and a little shallow area for um, wildlife, birds and whatever. And then, can't see it too well. But that overflowing pot is going to sit up there in the back. I've got to dig that out a bit more. Again, get rid of the soil, bank it up down here. As we go around here, this wall gets increasingly higher because eventually it's got to meet the top of this when this has, has a top on it. So I've got some tops to go on here. So I'll put some tops on. And when this out wall is the same height, then we can start banking all that soil in behind, making our berm at the back. Uh, so this pipe here needs to be reburied. Uh, this is from, from the overflow for the vats, and that's gonna, just going to feed into there when we do water change on the on the vats. So that's where we're at. I'm not the best brick in the world. In fact, it's a job I hate. I've been putting this off, off for two years, but it's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. Just needs a brush when it dries off, and it is. If the camera focuses, bang on level. There we go, bang on level. So, as I say, that's going to be two bricks there. And then from this point here, <coughs> I think from this point here, we start to go up to three bricks and so on as we get round. And when we get to the back, we'll work out how many more bricks. I think it's one more, I think it needs to go at four. But I'm not too sure about that at the minute. And that's it for me, done. That little bit of brick wall has taken me, oh, what's time now? Three hours, I think it has. Yeah, and so not the fastest in the world. It's not a job I, I enjoy, but sometimes it's got to be done. And on this occasion, it's got to be done. Right, so I'm back, as you can see. Now, uh, top. Three courses not put down, well sand and cement down anyway, got no mortar on them. That's just so I can see my height and how many bricks I've got left. Bottom two courses are done apart from the very end there. Had to stop to make sure I was level. And then I had to put a piece of concrete in. because uh, there was a piece of concrete just about where that pipe in that pipe is, which I couldn't take out. I'm not so sure which footings for that for this shed or what, but it wouldn't come out, so I couldn't get a brick up there. So I just put a big piece of concrete in, which I'm waiting for it to go off, so I can carry on uh, putting my bricks down. Once I've got my bricks down, then it'll be get some soil on order, because obviously I need to backfill up to that height, or nearly up to that height. We're going to put bark on top of it, we to press a membrane down and then bark on top of it. So. I think that ledge for the pot has got to come up higher because we're quite going to be quite deep there. But I won't know that until we get some soil down and we'll bring it up to height. As you can see I've done on this side just here. And then we've got a little trench just dug out there. And I've just got to finish that off, make it level. Uh, at the minute it's up a bit here and then sort this hole out, which is going to be the pond bit of it. So that's what we're up to. And so that piece of concrete should be dry by tomorrow. That white pipe I've got to spray black. That goes all the way around the back. Ignore the mess, this is our wildlife area. All the way around the back and that comes from the vats, so that's our overflows. So that's, as I said in the previous video, is going to feed that gravel section over there 
where the black corrugated pipe is at the end of it. It's going to flow back in there and then eventually back into the pond. So I've got to spray that black. I want it to go through the wall. It's easier that way around. And then we'll just dig a trench and connect the corrugated pipe to it. And then that's, that's sorted. But yeah, I can't do much until that concrete has gone off, which it hasn't quite. Yeah, it will until by the morning. So hopefully I can get all this walling up then and then sort out some topsoil or some soil for it. And as I said, we're going to bark this side. I've got to do something with this edge here, which I'm not too sure what. But <clears throat> I'll work it out in time. But everything's got to come up a bit because it's all a bit too low. The reason for the wall was just to bring it off the ground as such. As I explained, this is all going to be regrassed, so it's probably going to come to the bottom of the brick. Yep, please. Probably come, going to come to here, there, so you'll have one brick up. Because um, it already does up here, so you lose one brick under the grass up in the corner there, so it just needs to be re-leveled all the way down the garden. Anyway, so that's where we're at with the pond. Uh, it's, yeah, we're getting there, slowly. Slowly getting there. Um, it's going to be a little fall off there and back into the pond, but I don't want it massive because I don't want it to distract from the overflowing pot. And we'll, I think we're going to have lights on it as well. We did last time around, and it looked rather smart. The lights against the Acer. <coughs> lights against, excuse me. Ice against the Acer, shine up into the Acer and onto the pot with the overflowing water coming out of it. It runs down the side of the down the side of the slate. It needs to clean. But if you look, it's slate all the way down. So that looks quite smart. So anyway, I crack on with that. See you later. Right, so this is where we're up to. I haven't got a great deal done this week, but I'm finally managed to finish the wall. I'm not the best brick in the world, but and it's quite cold now, so the malt is not going off very well. But you get the idea. So I'm going around the corner. I've extended our waste pipe from our vats. I've got to spray it up black so it doesn't stand out so much. And it runs around the back there. All the way around, I've got to repair that fence as well. But yeah. right. Because I don't want to put soil up against the neighbour's fence, even though the fence is in quite a bad state. I'm going to put blocks down the side there, just to this post, I think, and then I might do from there down to there. But you get the idea. You can see what it's starting to look like now. All this has to be backfilled to about an inch or so off the top, and then we're going to fill it with bark. So somewhere around about down there and then we're going to top it off with bark so it looks quite smart and uh, be something to plant into but you get the idea the pot's going to sit there in that I don't know if you can see that we've got to bring that up a bit height wise and the pot's going to sit there and then we're going to have a little stream running down back into the pond here this side is just going to be a gravel area where we can plant so it act like a little bog garden sort of thing, just for extra filtration. It's only a wildlife pond, so we're not going to go crazy on it. I've run the electrics already. Uh, move that out of the way. All I've got to do is get a oops, leaf. Is get a water, double waterproof socket, which is going to sit up there. So that's all done. Um, we're going to filter it with a pressure filter with UV on it because, as I've said before, that filter's going to sit up here with the UV on it, so it can feed this as our overflowing pot. But it, last time I had it running, it did get quite green, loads of algae on it. I don't want that on it looking quite smart. Uh, so that's going to go in that hole over there. So the next job is to order some soil, get it on order, and put our blocks in down there. And put a little piece, bit of concrete down there, clean all that up, put a bit of concrete down there, and then the box can go in 
and that'll stop the soil going against the fence just in case it does change the fence at some point then it's, the soil's not going to fall into the garden next door so anyway that's where we're at if you want to see continued progress on this pond build think about subscribing if you like the video think about hitting thumbs up helps the channel out a lot if you've got anything to say post them in the comment section below and i will reply to them and i will catch you in the next one all right laters bye